guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade Dharma Wangza. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. On this channel, we talk about how to grow on social media, especially Instagram. And I feel like I talk a lot about overall strategies that are solving short-term problems like getting more likes and engagement. But I wanna talk about long-term strategy because it's much more scary when you think about doing something for a long time without seeing results in the short term. But this is the type of growth you really need to create a business or brand that will sustain you, right? Like having engagement and likes is great it's pretty swell but like what if you want to go beyond that a lot of the things i teach on this channel is going to solve it pretty quickly but now i want to talk about just small little things you can do every day So for everyone new, welcome to my channel. There's some people rolling in that are, they don't know me. I am a digital marketing entrepreneur. You guys can call me whatever. I'm just here to help you. And I've been taking a lot of your guys' questions on Instagram DMs. No matter how much I get busy, I still have time to also take a look what you guys want. So one of them was just like small little things you can do. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram. So for enjoying this, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. It really means the world to me. I truly appreciate it. So I know a couple videos back i was a little bit negative just a little bit negative and i don't want to be that person uh update your app and i have so much empathy and love i just want to become a little bit more positive on these next couple videos so truly apologize for everyone who's like damn this girl's really rude so going back to the strategies i always keep learning and i just recently found out this really cool strategy that no one's talking about instagram live no one's utilizing it as a marketing tool to grow their account when i'm literally sitting here just like amazed by how much impact it has done on my account if you guys saw or if you're not aware i did an instagram live and each time i've been hitting the top live i think in the country i'm not entirely sure how it works i'm pretty sure it might be nationwide and it's really interesting on how i was able to do it i honestly have to be real with you guys i don't know how i was able to be trending um overall if you guys want to pop here i usually get like maybe 30 to 50 live views which might be a lot for you guys let me not but i got a thousand seven hundred live views so uh that's pretty great so I'll go into how to really get that amount and how it benefits you because I'm pretty sure it spiked up my followers double throughout the week. Hi guys, it's Editing Jade. Just want to let you know if you're curious, out of those 1,700 views, it translated into about like 100 followers each day from the period I started live. Not every day, it just kept growing. It got me a lot of exposure. I just really wanted to share something that I don't think people really talk about that much. And then after that, I will list two more little hidden facts you can do every day. The idea of this video is little by little, step by step, just the little things that will overall grow your account over time. Uh, the keyword is time. It's not like you're gonna wake up being, you know, Jake Paul with millions of fans. I don't know, why do I always reference these guys? So the idea is just really, really small step by step because I will quickly pop in one of my favorite videos ever it's quite weird of me to share but it's the domino effect I'll, I'll just put it right here what you may not know is that a domino can knock over another domino which is about one and a half times larger and the smallest domino is about five millimeters high and one millimeter thick ready Cause just listen to me this might be a little weird but like when you're having a big goal maybe it's a hundred thousand followers whatever your big goal it is to you you need to understand you're not gonna get there overnight if you have knocked down one goal the next one will fall the idea is to make it small enough to overcome each day and nothing too big and you guys are overwhelming yourself so here's just three things you can do that won't overwhelm you cool Cool. But the first one is going on live on Instagram every day. This might sound extreme. If you don't like the camera, this might be freaking awkward. My first live, <laughs> there was only one person watching and bless their soul. It was super awkward. I was just talking and having a great time. I want to implore you to just go for it. Even if it's awkward, the only reason I could think that it contributed to how I was able to hit top trending live was because I was guesting a lot of people. So I recommend to do a lot of lives by guesting people or maybe DMing a few of your buds being like, hey, do you want to hop on a live? Maybe you're both influencers with similar following sizes and you just want to go together i would literally do an interview together that's really a huge contribution if you can get the audience by kind of growth hacking and collapse but this time it's really cheap and fast and easy because you can just go on a live duo with them if you guys see that little feature on instagram where two people are on the same live and what happens is it notifies their followers and if you're constantly doing that and you're constantly getting new people that will over time grow your circle a little bit bigger each and every day the idea is little by little this is not going to get you hundreds 
hundreds of followers each day, it might get you five people, but those five will bring the next five, the next 25, the next 50. You guys see what I'm saying? It's very, very impactful actually. And I don't know why no one talks about it because it's literally so smart. Like if you guess someone, when you guess them, it notifies their followers and it's really fast and easy. I feel like you guys need to implement it every single day. And I've never talked about utilizing live as a marketing tool. It's like the best one I've heard so far. It's literally so easy. Like do it. Okay, the second thing is updating your highlights. I don't know if you guys ever like spend so much time on someone's profile, maybe stalking a cute boy, or maybe you're just trying to find someone that looks cool. I spend a big amount of time looking at their highlights. Like sure, I scroll through their feed, look at their pictures, but highlights are really cool and no one really talks about updating them constantly. I'm not talking about adding things to your library, but literally adding circles every single time you can. This really gets a new fresh perspective. I would add a circle every time there's a new current event. For example, if it's St. Patty's Day, I would literally do a highlight dedicated to that holiday, right now it's March, but I would really do time sensitive things on your highlights because your profile is a first impression. And if you can do something that's very, very relatable to maybe a new follower that's about to follow you and you can make that sort of connection, I think updating your highlights is important. A lot of you guys just kind of leave that shit stagnant and like just like waiting there, but I want you guys to keep having more little stories on there rather than just adding a few to the end because no one's really gonna watch all the way to the end. It's more idea to keep it really full. I think adding story highlights are super fun and you guys don't seem to do that the last couple things i think you guys need to switch up the angles so many of you guys have feeds and you've been on the freaking same feed for a year that's what i did and i always believe in switching it up i have the best likes and engagement when i do the complete polar opposite of what people expect it just adds a little bit of tension the idea is you want to post stuff that kind of puts people on edge whether it's a controversial topic i mean it's up to you. Or it's like you cut your hair and it's you're blonde from, you know, brunette. Whenever you add a little bit of a turning point of emotion, it really incentivizes the user to stay in there longer. They're looking at it captivated, especially for people that have a brand for a long time and you're not doing anything to change it. I implore you to even like post a no makeup selfie or just a really ugly photo of a plant. Maybe you're a photographer. It gives people a new perspective. I don't think everyone implements this as they could have because you have to have some vulnerability, but it's huge. For example, one of my photos I posted was a before and after and I've gotten so many profile views and impressions more than I've ever gotten in my life. You have to have a little bit of vulnerability. I think when you do a before and after or you put a post that you would never post in your life because it's not perfect, over time people can see different perspectives. If you go on someone's Instagram and they change your emotion, you're most likely going to stay there, tag a friend, it kind of makes you feel something. A lot of you guys are doing nothing with feeling and emotion. Feelings drive action and action drives results. So so I really want you guys to think about ways you can drive feelings and emotions, whether it's telling a story or maybe it's just about you going cliff jumping. It has to have emotion. You gotta pull different strings. This is really weird. But that little thing about, you know, posting things that the content has to be really, really on edge or controversial or has a little bit of tension really helps grow your account. It makes you stand out. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm typically very practical and very, um, you know, numerical and like you guys gotta do this. It's very, very structured. These are just small things you can implement. And I hope this was helpful and maybe something you guys can do every day, like 30 minutes. You don't need to do my strategies full on. To be honest, it might overwhelm you when you do a whole marketing campaign with ads. If you don't have the money, I think this video is great for you because it just takes 30 minutes. And in addition to a lot of YouTubers that are like, <laughs> post consistently and DM and like, and like, I feel like you guys should do that in addition to the three tips I just mentioned. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And if I ever, ever skip over your question and I'm trying to double down on replying to you guys, it's just been a little bit crazy. And if you ever have a question, email me for the fastest response or DM me if you want me to send you a video of me probably responding. And I just want to hear what you guys have to say. If you haven't already and you'd like to be more immersive in your content and branding, I have a couple spots open for coaching calls. If you want to check down below, I will link my email and a way you can get personal contact with me and I will send you a really good deal, a rate. I'm just trying to help you out. All right, guys, catch my Dharma Nation later. If you want to know more and you like this video, subscribe and like to Dharma Nation. Woo! I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh my God, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below a hashtag Darmination. Let's see who's actually sticking to the end. I see you. Yeah, hashtag Darmination. I want to see who's till the end. Freaking loyal. And I might do something pretty cool with you guys. All right, catch you guys in the next one.